Hello beautiful soul, I'm here finally for your angel guidance for this week. I've tried to do it live, it didn't work. I've tried to record it, it also didn't work. After I was finished, then I realized that only half of the video was recorded. But I'm back, I'm here, I'm trying again to give you your angel guidance for this beautiful week from the 25th of June through the 1st of July 2018. So if this is your first time here, remember to go to the subscribe button below so you will get notifications when I post a new video here. For this week, we're gonna be using the Universe Has Your Back Oracle Cards. This is by Gabby Bernstein. There are 52 cards in this deck. It's such a beautiful deck. The messages are wonderful, are very, very um, loving messages, very high vibration. I love working with this deck. So that's why I chose it for this week. Like I told you, I did record this video before, which did not work. Uh, so I'm gonna pull new cards and we'll see what message comes forward if the angels are gonna choose the same cards or if something is gonna change. So I invite you now to just close your eyes. Let's invite our angels here right now to surround us with their love, with their light, with their grace, with their protection. And let's ask them to pick up the cards that is gonna resonate with us. The right card with the message, it's here, with the message for Monday and Tuesday. And actually three cards came out and it's amazing because two of, two of them were actually in the guidance yesterday. So anyway, so the first card says, my happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. It's so beautiful. The next card is saying again about happiness. Happiness is my birth right. Oh yes, it is. And the next one, which is also the one that came yesterday, in any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness. So mainly the message for Monday and Tuesday, which is pretty much exactly what they were talking about in the guidance that I tried to record. It is how important it is for us to understand what is love, the importance of this energy. Love is exactly what heals, is the most powerful energy of all. Love is the one that is going to transform everything, that is going to change the way we see ourselves, the way we see people around us, the way we see situations. When you come from a loving perspective, when you change your perspective and you actually see through the lenses, through what your eyes see, when you look at things from love, then everything changes. Then you understand the truth. You understand what is going on. And then everything changes because your heart opens up, your energy changes, your vibration gets higher, and then you get calmer, you get peaceful, and you get happy. Happiness comes from the peace within, from the love within. It is from understanding that you are love. It is from understanding that other people around you are also love. Even if it doesn't look like sometimes, even if it, does, even if it looks like someone is mean or someone is very negative, understand, my dear, that that person also has love within him or her. They also, they were also made of love. That's their seed, that's their essence. And when you start to understand this, you become much more compassionate. You become much more calmer. You try and you, and you actually understand that that person is just going through something difficult. I know that it's not easy to actually practice this, because it's very beautiful to just say it, but try as much as you can. 
that's what we are here for is to try our best to try to become a better person to try to raise up our vibration in a loving vibration so whenever you're angry whenever you're sad go in words breathe do that now close your eyes and just breathe get in connection with your heart with the love that lives within you and then you will be calmer you can manage to see things clearly because happiness is your birthright you deserve to be happy we all deserve to be happy that's what we are here for i spoke about this before we're not here to suffer we're not here to struggle we are here to grow in love we are here to expand our consciousness and expanding our consciousness we get into the love vibration we get bigger our our energy gets much brighter and then happiness comes because you are in alignment you are in alignment with the love that lives within you you are in alignment with your angels you are in alignment with divine energy with your higher self and that's where you will find happiness always always remember these words happiness comes from within it's never ever outside you're not gonna find happiness in other people you're not gonna find happiness in things in material things you can have the whole world but you might not be happy because you're not in alignment with the love that lives within you so when you are in this alignment then everything else starts to flow everything else will come to you as it is supposed to come because you deserve it you deserve to be happy that's what you're here for but you will only be truly truly deeply happy when you are in alignment with yourself with the love with the stillness of your breath with this beautiful light that lives within you okay let's move on because i can be speaking about this the whole day <laughs> So now for Wednesday and Thursday, I will shuffle the cards and let's see what the angels bring us. Because two of the cards that came in the reading I tried are already here. So let's see if there's something else that they want to tell us now. Wednesday and Thursday. Inviting them to just touch the cards. It's falling as you know. You know, my readings are always flying cards everywhere. So give me a second. I need to take them actually it's oh it's three cards again let's see they want me to do a long <laughs> long guidance for you this week so the first card says i chose i choose to learn through love oh so beautiful it's just what i was talking about the next one very nice third eye i let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love oh it's so beautiful Oh my God, I love these cards. And the next one, my energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what will manifest. So let's pick up from this, my dear. I choose to learn through love, like just exactly what I was talking about, how important it is to become a person who lives in love, in alignment with this energy. And the way to do that is just by being with yourself, by being with your heart in connection with your own energy. Like I told you, nothing comes from outside. You are not going to find it outside. You will find it only within. So choose to learn. Choose to, th to see things in your life through the lenses of love because that's when you will understand like I just told you that's when you will understand the learning process what is behind this you know barriers the fear the judgment then you will learn then you will grow then you will become a better person and you will become in time this is gonna be your energy this is gonna be your vibration so it's gonna be natural for you to be calm to look at people from love to understand things in a peaceful way let's move on <laughs> now the next card was about letting go of the past and looking at people 
with the eyes of love. So again, my dear, it's a, it, the cards are just confirming everything I'm saying, actually. Um, just let go of the past, detach from the past by looking at your past, looking at people that were actually mean to you, that were actually uh, rude or anything that hurt you. Try to see them from a loving perspective. Try to understand that that person is not doing something specifically to you. That person is actually going through something very hard. The person is actually acting from fear. Try to understand. You don't need to go and say it to that person. You don't need to say it to anyone. But, you, but understand that every individual in this planet is going through their own uh, path each one of us we're learning every day we are growing we are trying as much as we can as much as our consciousness allows us and many people are still not in this alignment with love so if you can be in alignment with it why not? This is going to bring you the best, the best version of yourself, the understanding that you truly look for. So just whenever someone does something to you, I know it's not easy, especially when that is happening. But when you get home, don't bring it with you. Just breathe and just try to release it from love. If you cannot be compassionate towards that person, if you cannot understand, understand yourself. Allow yourself to feel what you're feeling, but to heal these feelings with love. Okay? Let's move on because I can be talking about this. <laughs> Next, my energy creates my, my reality. What I focus is what I, what I will manifest. Pay very close attention. This is actually the angels are talking about this a lot this week. I got the same message for the daily guidance on Instagram. And I got the same message for uh, my group healing that I do every Monday. And it's about the power of your thoughts, understanding that everything you think about, everything you say is creating your reality. You are powerful. Your words do have power. Whatever you are experiencing right, right now was created by your thoughts and by your words in the past. So change your future, change your tomorrow by changing the way you think and the way you experience things now. Understand this, my dear. Whenever you think about something or you say something, you generate a field of energy. And the more you feed this, the bigger it gets to a point that, to a point that it will manifest that it will come back to you. It can be good or bad, it is up to you, you have your free will. So that's why I'm saying be careful with the things you say and the things you think about because it's manifesting. So try from now on to be more positive. Shift your words. Be affirmative. Be sure that things will come to you and understand that it will if you trust, if you know it, if you know how divine you are, if you know that love is what guides you, if you know that there is something so great that is guiding you, if you know that the angels are around you, all of them just protecting you, then you will know that everything you want will come to you. Then you will be positive. So understand, work on your words this week. Work on shifting your perspectives. Work on changing the way you see things, the way you see people, and the way you, you talk about your life. Don't talk about your life in a negative way. Talk about your life in a positive way. See the good things. Don't focus on the things you don't have. Don't focus on the things that are not so good yet. 
Focus on everything you already have. Focus on everything that you're already experiencing or that you have already experienced. Be grateful. When you are grateful for everything you have now, today, at this moment, again, you're grateful, you generate energy, and this, the more you feed this feeling of being thankful, the more it grows and it will manifest. Remember that. Let's get to the weekend. Let's choose the card for the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Asking them to touch the cards. And it's actually here, they just told me. Two cards. Uh, um, yeah, anyways, let's move on. <laughs> okay, when I lay. Oh, I love. Oh, thank you, angels. They're just confirming what I said. When I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. Like I just said, when you trust, when you are in alignment of your faith, then you will see it physically. It will manifest. It's going to become something material. So trust. Trust, trust and trust. Trust the universe, trust your angels, trust yourself, trust your inner power to manifest things. Because when you are in alignment with this beautiful energy, then you will manifest, then you will, be, you will get everything you want. The peace, the happiness you're looking for, then it's going to start happening. When you have faith, when you understand the things can change in you. You only have the power to change them. Moving on. When I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. Again, it's understanding how important it is. The trust in the love of the divine and getting this you know, understanding that divine energy lives within you, that the love that created you is actually inside of you, within you. And when you understand that, you will learn, you will grow, your consciousness expand, and you start to understand everything in a clearer way. You start to understand your life, you start to understand yourself, you start to understand people. Why? Because you are a being of love. And that's what you are meant to be experiencing. It's the happiness that comes from this beautiful and powerful energy. Everything is love. Everything comes back to this powerful energy. Everything is created by it. Everything is healed by it. Everything is manifested through it. Well, anyways, I can be talking about this for the whole day because it really resonates with my heart when I speak about divine love and your own love. So I can be talking about this, but I have to end the video. Otherwise, it's going to be too long. Anyways, my dear, beautiful soul, thank you so much. I, I just want to express once again how grateful I am for you for you being here, for you sharing your time, your experience, your energy with me. I'm very grateful for your existence. If you know someone, anyone that needs this kind of messages, if you know that this can help someone, this can touch someone's heart, please share this video so we can expand this energy even more. I wanna thank you for being here. I wish you a wonderful, a blessed week in the company of your angels, with love, with gratitude, with manifestation of everything you want. Stay in peace, take good care of yourself. You're the most, most important person of your life. And I'll talk to you very soon again. Namaste.